Okay, so what we're looking at here is the Happy Model Mobula 6 2024 edition. And unlike usual Happy Model whoops, personally, I think this particular one does not have a good default tuning as the flight is pretty sluggish and is always overshooting, which I am kind of disappointed with it. So in this video, I'm just going to teach you how to get it to fly much better by loading some presets. Let's get right into it. Okay, so to fix this problem, you're going to come to your computer. We're basically going to see if we can mess with the tuning to see if it's going to be better. Okay, let's plug it in with a USB -C, USB cable. Okay, we're going to leave it right here. We're going to blow the fan just so the VTX does not overheat. Okay, so we're going to come to a computer and basically you can see like right the I don't know why the desktop looks like a race gate, so it looks nice. Okay, so we're going to go into the Betaflight Configurator. You're just going to hit Connect. And this time, we're going to try to load a preset to see if it actually fixed the problem. So you're going to type in right here, which is UAV. UAV Tech. And we are going to see if we can find the one, the OOP option. Yes, this is the one we want. Well, probably 96K should be good. And then once we're done, we can pick this and you're going to agree to it. Okay, before I do so, let me just save a backup of my preset. So in case I wanted to load it back, I will have something. Okay, let's just save it here. Okay. Let's do it again. Preset, UAV Tech. Oops, and we're going to select medium build quality, 96, dynamic idle, and we're going to pick it. Agree. And save and reboot. Let's see if it's going to fix our shaky problem. Okay, if I go to the motors tab, okay. The direction of the T-shot, I'm not sure if it's gonna actually work. Let's plug in the light pole just to make sure. Okay, so the direction of the T-shot actually works, so which is pretty good. Let's give it a try, let's disconnect it, and let's go test flight this thing. Okay, so the video you're seeing right now, it's coming out from the DJI Goggles version 2 OSD, and this is the onboard camera. I don't remember the name of this camera, but yeah, I would say it's definitely more washed out compared to the Nano 3. As for the tuning-wise, I do think that this is much better compared to the Mobula 6. Like, the, when you're doing your stick inputs, it just actually gives a better response compared to the default tuning. When I was doing the default tuning, when I just opened it, it was just... It would just like feels like I suddenly don't know how to fly. Yeah, and like this one, much better. Like compared to the default tuning, I think like the UAV tech, much, much better. Okay. Obviously, you can always put on a different preset, but this is just a test that just to tell you that, hey, this one is an alternative option if you are like me that doesn't know how to tune. And yeah, I'm still learning how to do it, but. Currently, it seems like flashing a UAV tech preset is a pretty good option that will allow you to actually have a better performance. And also some of the additional thoughts about this quad is I do think, I do think this is more powerful compared to the previous generation because when you're having such a powerful high KV motor and it's like an even lighter weight factor, you can do a lot of those tricks without any problems and yeah it's kind of there's actually a little wind right now so if it's a previous generation where even the Mobula 7 uh Mobula 7 yeah even the Mobula 7 it's going to struggle a little bit but this one seems to be performed just okay like before the one the, the previous Mobula 6 I have was uh, I don't remember which generation was it but it was like a really old one that with a really low old KV a really low KV and I think it also runs on OA02, so in that kind of era. That one, yeah, probably just an indoor quad, but this one completely changed my mind that I think this is the one that if you wanted to fly indoor and outdoors, I think this is actually not bad at all. Like this particular Mobile 6, like obviously if you can fight it. So right now, it seems like they are doing pretty well and it was just shortage on everywhere. Yeah. There are some complaints about the tuning, but after you resolve it, like if you flash the UAV tech, I think it actually flies pretty, pretty decently. 
All right, so if you have any questions or if you have any comments, please do leave it at the comment section. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye for now.